One of the most important features in my Minn Kota Quest series trolling motor is not silent propulsion or hyper-accurate GPS-based navigation, but instead it's information, real-time information about the amount of power I have left in my trolling motor batteries. The battery monitoring feature, available with every Quest series trolling motor, displays this information in real time right on my Humminbird fish finder. You can set up battery monitoring the first time you connect your Minn Kota Quest trolling motor to your Humminbird fish finder through the One Boat network, or really at any time after that. Let me show you how to do it. On a Humminbird Solix or Apex, navigate to the home screen and then select battery monitoring. Here you'll see the window that will display your real-time battery information. To set up battery monitoring, choose Battery Setup Guide, and then Start Setup. The first question is going to ask you about your trolling motor battery chemistry. And at this point, there's really only two answers to this question. Choose either a lead-acid battery system or a lithium battery system. The next question will ask you about the voltage being used to power your Quest trolling motor. Select either a 36 volt system, typically three 12 volt batteries, or a 24 volt system, typically two 12 volt batteries. Then choose next. Now, if you selected lead acid as your trolling motor battery chemistry type, this next question is going to allow you to assign the appropriate kind of lead acid battery either a traditional flooded lead acid battery, a gel lead acid battery, or an AGM lead acid battery. Pick the right type of battery and then choose next. This next question will ask you about your trolling motor battery capacity. Typically, this is provided somewhere on your battery housing. Now, in my case, my trolling motor battery capacities are provided in amp hours. So I'm going to select that option and then choose next. The last question is going to ask about your actual trolling motor battery capacity. And again, this will be listed somewhere on the battery housing. Now, in my case, my AGM batteries have a capacity of 110 amp hours. So I'm going to dial in the appropriate capacity and then choose complete setup. Setting up real time battery monitoring is as simple and easy as that and it works much the same way on a Humminbird Helix system. On a Helix, press the menu key twice to open up the main menu. Then, select the Accessories menu tab, followed by Minn Kota Motor Settings, and then Battery Setup. You'll walk through that same sequence of questions to set up battery monitoring on a Helix that you would on a Solix or an Apex. Once battery setup is complete on your Helix, you can select Battery Monitoring from that Accessories menu tab to access your real-time battery information. No matter what type of Minn Kota Quest Series trolling motor or Humminbird Fish Finder you have, you'll enjoy easy access to real-time battery monitoring, powerful information that will keep you on the water longer so you can catch more fish.